look like it's on? Peace. All right. Um, so this is a uh, just a PowerPoint that I've put together with, uh, um, and those got, those people that are, this will be on Google Classroom. It's at the end. There's a PowerPoint where it starts to the very bottom. It'll start to talk about the state test. It goes over the, the mistakes that are made made a lot. The most common, commonly business, you know, questions. All right. And if you have any, just stop me if you need anything. So. Because you've already done the 104 times test, I think I can do this pretty dang fast. But I will slow down to whatever you want me to slow down is. Ready? True or false? We already know. Do they switch them? I know it. That means you've got to look at every single question on the state exam because they will switch it. So true, false, true, false. You'll get lulled into it, and call darn it if they'll flip it, and your brain will say, I know that's true, and you'll put a T, and call darn it if they didn't put true as B. Because it's a bubble. It's an A, B, and you'll bubble A for true, and true is actually B, so be careful, okay? Um, they have, they actually have one, you've seen it probably twice now, that says A, all the above. It's a misprint. It should say all of these. And if it says all of these, it is all of them, no matter where it's at. So on the test, I believe it says something about carbon monoxide. And it'll say, you know, don't idle your car with the windows up, don't, you know, what, and all these things. It ends up being all of these, but it's not there. And A says all of the above. Pick it. It's a typo. All right? All of these means all of them. I got this wrong. You're like, Mr. Mayor, she's trying to be a guy. It says, which lane is used for left turns only? I looked at it and went, B, all obvious. The arrow's there and everything. It is so simple. And I got it wrong. What's wrong with you, Mr. Marish? Again, just like the A, B, C, D, and the, the true, false, I never looked. I, I never looked at the, the answers. I argued with the lady. I go, what? There's something wrong. I got, it's right. It's B. B, and she kept going, whatever letter, C, C, or D, or whatever. Then this one here, it's C. I go, no, it's B. C, well, then I looked. That's mean to me. That's not seeing if you are smart. That's seeing if you're catching what they're doing with their test. That's not what assessments should be used for. It's to see if you can get their test. And this is what's happening with their test. The true, false, flipped. Lane A, well, the answer is C, lane B. And you're like, what? It's lane B, but the answer is C, lane B. Just be careful, OK? Uh, we've, uh, someone, in fact, I think Griff just asked, the reason that the, the, this has changed is because they're tricking you. We use, uh, we've always said, you know, oh, you know, a five ounce wine, a twelve ounce beer, you know, a mixed drink. They all have about the same amount of alcohol. But then all of a sudden, they're like, you have to know that a shot glass is one and a half ounces. That's a mixed drink. But if it's three ounces of whiskey, it's actually two. So on the test, you circle the whiskey one because it's actually two whiskeys versus one beer, one wine, one wine cooler. Okay? And I, I said this to them. I said, what? I said, why is it? Why are you doing this? And they're like, they need to know. And I go, they need to know what? They need to know how to mix a drink. I'm supposed to come in and mix drinks with them, and they're like, well, uh, 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 and I go, I'll sign all that stuff later. Just have a seat, okay? Double white line. Don't know why we cover it. We talk about it, but we have. Maybe it's the P word, D word. Prohibited means against the law. Against the law, prohibited. You get a ticket for it. Okay, pay a fine. Discouraged is, eh, it's a guiding, it's discouraged, but you can't. If it's a single white line, it's a one way. Could you do a lane change on a single white line? Yes. What if it was a double white line? Then what's the word they'd say? It's what? Okay, we can get this right then. Double white prohibits lane changes. Single white discourages. Okay, if it was a yellow line with a yellow line on your side closing it, does that discourage lane changes or prohibit lane changes? Yeah, just kind of know that those words. Okay. Oh, I can do it as long as I'm super careful. No. It well, you can do it. You can break any law you want, but you're gonna get a ticket. Work zones. This is a great example of reading the whole question. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna pause on purpose where the dots are. And you get it wrong if you stopped here. And this is why students get this wrong. True or false? Yellow is the background color used for warning signs. And you're like, well. It's right. Of course it is. But then it says a little more. That warn me of highway work zones. What color are they now? Orange. Orange. And now, of course, the answer changes, right? 
So we've got to be careful to read the whole thing. They, this is the only, in all the arguments I've been in with them, even the well, last one about the alcohol. And they need to know, and they need, need, need this one here. They actually don't say. They don't even say anything. For some reason, drivers, they are going to ask you a question about a commercial driver. Don't know why. They don't know why either. But if a commercial driver has an OBAC below 0.04, how long can they not drive? 24 hours. It's on the state exam. You got to know it for some reason. So know it, pass it, and then forget it. Unless you're going to go get a commercial. I have a commercial driver's license. So I, you know it should be on my test, but not yours. Red arrow, green arrow. I know why it's Kendra's coming at 50 miles an hour. And we're so afraid that we both have a green light, they have a red light, that you're going to see the green light and think I have the right of way. But I'm turning left, and all of a sudden I turn left in front of the car that's coming at 50. This is a very bad accident. So I understand the importance of the question. It's just that they put an option in there that should be gone because it, because now they have a, a, a question with two correct answers. But they'll only give you credit for one. So you're going to see an arrow pointing to the left. And you're going to see one of them that says, and a red arrow, I must stop behind the crosswalk before proceeding. In your mind, go, that's a good answer. And here's their argument. The other one's better. And I said, there's nothing better. There's no such thing as better. Right is right. Two plus two is four. I mean, that's the answer. You, you can't change that it's right or wrong. And then the other one says three plus one is four. Which one do you pick? They're both right. And I, 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 anyways, I understand. This is the one you got to memorize and pick. I may proceed in the direction of the green arrow, and other drivers should yield to me. And that is a true statement also. Pick that one. Don't even worry about stop. Um, don't um, be careful. In real life, of course, stop behind the crosswalk, wait for the red arrow to turn green and all that stuff. But the one they want you to pick, and they proceed in the direction of the green arrow. Again, here's another. They don't know how to make a test. If you use the word all or never, that means never or all. If they do that, you here's the question. It says all. True or false? I should look back before I start bagging. Is that true so far? Sure. I'm stopped between two cars. I'm at Fleet Farm, my favorite store. It smells funny, but got a lot of cool stuff. I look, no pedestrians, no grandmas, no grandpas, no car, and I start to back up. And it says all the time, so, and then it says, and all the time I'm backing. So I look back before I start backing. If I look back all the time I'm backing and I crank my wheel to get out, and there's a car right here, what might happen? Yes, you've got to check your swing. And I go, you're checking your swing. Yeah, but, but and I understand they want you to keep your eyes back until you're completely stopped. But you're going to check things as you're doing it. You know you will. So in real life, know that you're going to look at your camera, you're going to look at your mirrors. But mostly, where are you looking? Backwards. Even if you got a camera, mostly looking backwards. And then keep your eyes there until you stop. So once you stop, stop. Now I can turn around and shift my gears back into, from reverse into drive. So pick, say true. Even though it shouldn't say all, just say true. Okay. About, they change this, but you can figure this out anyway. Is there a divider on the bottom of that sign? Say yes or no. Look at the bottom of the sign. Is there a divider on the bottom of the sign? Yes. yes. At the top is there. No. Then, then, then what just happened? It ended because we're, we're, you're always driving from the bottom to the top. Is there a divider here? No. But up there, is there? Yeah. Which side do you go to? In America, the right. Okay, and that's the one they hit you with later on, and that's so I'll show you that on a different slide. Um, we can look over here, but the, we won't be taking the test in this classroom. If you were doing the trimester, you could look. I, I put a hint on there by adding that dash line. It's still a terrible sign, even with the dash line, but there, at least, if you look into the dash lines, what's happened into the lane on the right? Yeah, it ends and it merges left. The answer to this, even though it looks like it's just a narrow, narrowing road, it actually means right lane ends merge left. It's a bad sign. Okay, for some reason they've done it this way. So, got that? You're looking at it, you see it? Good. We've already done this. I've, I've asked you the three, maybe, have I asked you, what's the process called that gets rid of the alcohol? Everybody say it. How many drinks per hour? One. And one organ gets rid of it? How many days do, are you, do you use your license on the second offense? Nine. 180. Yeah, 180. 
Good. And if you're, and then there's another one that's like all the above for alcohol. Ooh, there's a liver. It's delicious. Do you guys eat liver ever? No. Who's eating liver? Yeah. Do you like it? I, I'll eat it, but I wouldn't like order it. But yeah, it's dry. So some people do it uh, chicken chicken livers, and they make like a cracker dip and stuff. Heal. Who has the right of way? Whoever got there? If they're already on the freeway, who has the right of way? The freeway. The freeway traffic. You're the merging one, okay? True or false? We're merging the freeway. You yield the freeway traffic. True. They have the right of way. Now, hopefully, you merge nicely and you can all mash and zip in and all that stuff. And someone doesn't throw you off a bridge. Yeah, throw you off a bridge. Oh, my goodness. Move over law. We showed you videos on it. It's pretty important. We tend to go where we look, so let's make sure we keep our eyes on the intended path of travel. And then we go, oh, there's something going on here. Move over a lane. Construction. Changing your tire. They, they stall a police car for tow trucks. Whatever. Just do, move over is a great idea. They don't, I don't even need a law to tell me that, but there is a law. It's called the move over law. Move over one lane, one lane whenever you can. What's the speed limit in your residential area? 30. 30. You good. You got it. Look at the sign. What can I do in both of those lanes? That's the answer. Turn left from either lane. Good. Parking lot. It's a parking lot. Go slow look for pedestrians. And before you leave, stop behind the crosswalk or the cross street. Stop and look, all right? Always stop before entering the roadway. Alleys and parking lots, got it? Good. Charlie St. Cloud Law, when we stop and we're getting ready for a left turn, we, what do we do with our tires? Keep them straight, make sure it's clear, looking good, then we turn and go. Okay? What two, oh, how's the memory? What two types of it? Liability and no fault. Good job, liability and no fault. Either order, liability, no fault, liability, no fault, no fault, liability, as long as they're together. Is they're going to say one with another and then this with that, but find the two together. Good job, Amina. Bike lanes. Shouldn't you use the bike lane if there's no one in them for right turns? Yes. You actually should. Really? I just thought you could. No, you actually should. If you use it as a deceleration lane, everyone behind you will be happy. If, if Kendra's behind me and I move over to her right, she can keep going. Now she's like, oh, yeah, it's so nice. Thank you. I get to keep going. Okay? If I stay off the line, she's like, oh my goodness, would you just move over, you big dummy? Beep, beep, big finger, then I throw it off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I park there if I have a sore leg? Oh. What if I have crutches? What if I'm in a wheelchair? If you have a little slip. It's all, none of that matters. You have to have what? The certificate or the license plate. You ever seen license plates with them? Good. And if you borrow grandma's car and she has it, grandma must be with you then. You can't, you, you can't like, can I borrow the certificate and take it from auntie whatever and go to the game and then hang it up in the front and all you guys get up. Let's go to the game. Even your front row parking is cheating. The handicapped person is supposed to be in the vehicle. How many people have cheated before and used it? That's naughty. Okay. Hey, hey, when don't you have to stop for a school bus? The opposite side of the divided road. If you're on the opposite side of a separated divided road, you're good to go. Same with police cars. Hey, can you have a little bit of alcohol and drink? Of course, can you have any alcohol and drink? Uh, and, and drive. Yeah. No, you're zero. You're you're called not a drop. You're under 21. Okay. So it's zero, zero, zero. You can't take a cough medicine with alcohol. If you did and you blew and you blew a number of 0 0.01, like tiny, doesn't matter. Because you're under 21, you're not a drop, bam, you're in trouble. Now, once you're 21, you have to be impaired. So if you had some alcohol in you, then you'd have to be a show impairment, which some people would. I would, because I have this much tolerance, none, because I don't drink. Coming up here in a week, my 36th year will come in. So um, no alcohol, no drink. So it wouldn't take much for me to go like loopy doopy, okay? But truthfully, even at, at point zero ones and twos, your, your judgment has already changed. So really you shouldn't drink at all. So know, know that if you did drink, wait around for a while. You know, if you had a, a drink with a meal, make sure it's an hour has gone past, it'll be oxidizing out of you. If you start drinking, like, and the problem with kids is they binge drink. They drink to get drunk. So they go ding, 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 and then of course, they weren't gonna drive, but now they are gonna drive, because they, then they're like, I can't drive. You know, get them, 
I'll beat you up. You can't have. And you're like, your best friend is wants to fight you because they're insisting they can drive when they're killing me. Hardly suck. Knock them out. Take their keys. Throw them in the back seat. Drive them home. So I would not. I would fight my friend to get their keys. I would wrestle them down and get their keys from them. They can be mad at me, but tomorrow they'll be fine. And I'll just watch them for a bit. So. All right. Hey, you're gonna read the word left, but you're in America. You're making a left. But we still go just to the right of the center line. Make a left, we we'll go to the right of the center line. The right question is easy, right to right. Hey, if you are speeding, someone asked me this today, you lose. You just wrote it, you get right away privileges. Good job. Okay? When do we rotate? Okay, good. Keep going here. Uh, if you're an adult, okay. I tricked you on one of the tests, I said under 18. How are you, if you, Kendra's babysitting and she's 15, I'm bringing her home, and I was with my wife and I had a few wines at dinner or whatever, I get pulled over. The drunk law, drunk, driving law is applied to me, but because I have a child with me, all that book said is they're more severe. So on, in the book, on the test, it just says penalties more severe, that's the one you pick. Child endangerment, it's nicknamed or called or whatever. And then you gotta pay child support. If you have a baby, you pay for them, if not, uh, you lose your license. Okay, they'll use it to leverage you. Hey, because of airbags, what should we do with our hands? Hey, fellas, airbags, what do you do with your hands? Nine and three or eight and four, you lower them, okay? Is that just for trucks? The picture of a truck? No, it's for everyone, right? What's it mean? Steep bill, check your brakes. Good job. Good job. Do these guys have the right to just cut you off when they say no? Yes. Oh, I just hate them. That's road rage for me. I'm like, oh, you. They go on the right, they pass like a hundred cars. Then they go blinkety the blink. I don't, I don't mind if they pass the cars. I, I just think, I just, uh, at least, anyways. Why do you have the right with your blinker? Okay, here's where some people stop me. They go, please let me write these. I go, okay. But here's the numbers. There's probably a few others we can throw out because we already did the 180 days. How far from a bicycle? Three feet. How far from a fire hydrant? Actually, that the question is D. All that all of these, all of so anyways, and it's, whatever it says, all of these because it's fire hydrant, yellow curb, mailbox, all of these. How far from a school bus? 20. 20 feet. How far from your turn signals? 100. Depress or dim your lights from the rear or following at oncoming is how many days when you for second offense? Injury, death, or how many dollars? 1,000. Give me another number we maybe not going over. How many drinks per hour? One drink per hour, liver oxidation. What's that? 180 days for uh, second offense. 42. Minimum fine uh, for uh, construction. 300. 300 bucks now. Used to be, they used to just say fines double, but every county was had such different laws. They just went to the county can still do what you want, but state wise it's a minimum of 300. So, and so if, if there was a county that the fine is 400, it's 800. It, it, it's just 400. It used to be 400, 800, double. But there would be other counties where the fine was 100 dollars, so double was 200 dollars. It just got confusing. That's why they did it. All right. I see cameras. Ready? I don't know if the contrast is good for you. Some people just didn't know that this was a flag person. Construction flag. Stop. Go. Slow. Hey, there's a question that says. In the random, the random, random statement says, which of the following statements is true? The one you want to think is certain trucks, ones that will blow up and big, big, big fires, and buses stop at all railroad tracks. That's the one you pick. I drive over them all the time. Never stop. They have to stop no matter what. So if there's no flashing, no gates, no, they still stop. So they stop all the time. So the little kids on the bus, they stop, open their, you've seen them, they open the window and their door, they're supposed to listen, they're supposed to look, and then they can go. So if they hear chugga chugga choo choo, then they don't go. Hey, do you have to merge here? Do you have to merge here? No, it's an added lane, no merging necessary, there's a dashed line. If the lines join into one, that's merging, okay? So plows, can you pass them? Yes. But you gotta be able to see the whole plow, don't enter a big snow cloud. If they got a big snow cloud and it's all like, whoa, there's just a big white blizzard back here. 
because they're scooping up snow, it's going out, but they're driving at 40 miles an hour, gets caught in the vortex and then swirls behind the truck, people will still try to pass, which I don't understand anyway. They're plowing the road. I would rather drive on the plow road. Why do I want to go in front of it? Because I, I got a truck. I got a truck and I don't need no I'm not stupid. Just drive on the snow plow road. Uh, this is the one that's all of these. If you get a DUI, it's all of them. Plus, they got the second offense one, which is 180 days. And then this is kind of confusing because of the way it's worded. But the chances of being killed or injured increase. And people read that and they go, no, no, because if I'm buckling, they don't increase. But you got to read when the seatbelts are not worn. Oh, well, yeah, if they're not worn, they increase. That's the one you pick. That's the true one. All right. Besides, the other ones are kind of dumb. Children can wear adult seatbelts. Yeah, it'd be like on their head. Pregnant women should not wear a seatbelt. Why? Well, why? Because it doesn't make sense. And then there's no need for a lap belt. When they, remember we talked about the shoulder belt? That's the one you can't wear because it'll slide up and catch your head. Uh, now that they throw another red arrow in there and stuff, just put, you must wait for the green arrow to make your left turn. All right, even though there's something that says about stopping, you know, all that stuff, don't, don't pick it. And then, does intelligence affect the absorption rate of alcohol? Oh, no, if you just smart. Here's the new one. I had there's a raised meeting here, ditch. Which side do you go to, right or left? You go to the right, because we're in America. And then there's a new question here where it says all of the above at letter A. So people are like, well, these all sound right, but then they just pick one. They pick one because they can't pick that. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it because, Brad, are you okay? Yeah. Good. You got to pick all of the above. And you're just keep me mad at the test makers. You know, they're dumb. Okay? Thank you, thank you. I'll be here for two more days. Okay. <laughs>